I would like to get across the very essential point that egos seem to have the most trouble grokking. And that is that everything is perfect now because everything is the manifestation of God. Everything is perfect. And whether you realize it or not, you are already completely self-realized. The reason you may not realize it is you're self-realized in that ultimate sense that you're in the primordial changeless state in track three, but you're focused in track one and not connected to what's happening deeper within the consciousness, but that is already the case, always. But even what is happening in track one gradually will unveil what's happening in track three and that track three is available to you. And it will happen at just the perfect moment. And the more that one is open to recognizing the perfection and accepting it and accepting yourself and accepting all that is, and the more you are willing to be present in the here and now, fully, unconditionally, the more likely it is that that moment when the realization of the perfection happens becomes now. So it's very important not to have some belief system in which it's difficult to become realized, because you already are. And therefore, the more that you want to become enlightened, the further away you get from the fact that you are already enlightened. And you start looking, what should I do? What techniques? What drugs? What uh, uh, props? And you don't need anything, because it, you are already everything and nothing. But there, you are complete, you are whole. But the ego mind is only a partial sliver of your consciousness, the lowest part, and it is what obscures that perfection. It even obscures track one. And prevents you from uncovering the obstacles in the ego and unveiling the wisdom and the light and the love of the real self. So, the more you allow yourself to just sink into full acceptance of your perfection, the more that the traits that are based on your belief in your imperfection will simply fall away. And most of the pathological attributes of the ego are based on the feeling of imperfection and of unhappiness at being in their maya and of uh, an unwillingness to grow. But the growth happens through acceptance because it's when you are accepting everything that you can learn from it. If you're not accepting, you're projecting. And if you're projecting, then you're not going to understand the projection and the person who is real behind the projection and behind their projections and their ego. If you want to have a real relationship, a real love relationship, you have to be self-realized. Because love comes from the self. Love is the self, and love recognizes the self in everyone, and so the love is always there, and it's unconditional. 
But if you're trying to function from the ego level, it's an inadequate level to be able to cope with the situations that Maya is going to throw at you. And because Maya is unreal and an illusion that pertains only to the ego level, you can get out of that Maya very easily. But you get out of it by not doing, not thinking, not fighting. Same way you get out of those old-fashioned Chinese handcuffs. Remember, they put on the finger, the more you try to get out of it, the tighter they get. But as soon as you let go of striving, it can be pulled off very easily, right? So it's the same with the ego. It's just a kind of a handcuff that uh, tightens the more that you fight with it and uh, the more that you let it act out. But if you accept it without identifying with it, its unreality becomes clear and it falls away. And then there's peace. So the purification process is the ridding yourself of the false beliefs that make you peaceless and make you unable to perceive your perfection. So if you have any thoughts like, oh, I can't meditate, well, that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you believe it, then of course you won't be able to meditate. Whatever you believe you can't do, you won't be able to do. That's the meaning of having faith. You have to know that you can cope with whatever you face. And once you are in that spontaneous acceptance, that's really the Wu Wei state. That's what the Taoists call effortless action. You are in the changeless state while the body is, is acting and changing and doing what is accurate and the mind is focused on what it must focus on, but the self is completely free and uh, in that changeless mode of complete presence. Without any uh, oscillation of desire or fear. You want to be absolutely immovable, clear, coherent, so that the intelligence of your ultimate self is channeled like a laser through, and your heart is emanating that love of God, and your will is strong enough to overcome any obstacles. And once you recognize that that state is yourself, it's not simply some temporary flow that you've got to get into and you can lose uh, and uh, you don't know how to find again. No, it's who you are. And it's just a matter of getting the ego mind out of the way and you will discover this power is already fully developed within you. But at the same time, that is what will activate the ability to unveil more and more at higher and higher levels of unveiling. And the creative imagination that functions at the dream level will become sensitive to the higher dimensional beings in reality, the ones that don't appear to the five senses. And the whole uh, understanding of the real will become clear without any distortions. Because we are the real, and therefore when we are not moving from it or distorting it, the real is there as understanding as well as love, as well as power, as well as peace. 